come along with me today on menu planning, grabbing groceries, stopping into stores, getting my turkey today. Have you started your Thanksgiving shopping yet? Let's get Thanksgiving going. Thanksgiving always falls on a Thursday and our Friendsgiving party is actually on Sunday this year. So this year we have four couples coming to dinner. Everyone is bringing something for Friendsgiving. Let's talk about the menu. Grab your notebook, pad of paper, grab something and let's menu plan. This is Thanksgiving dinner menu plan from the She's in Her Apron. Annual weekly and the semester weekly planners have the holiday sheets in them. Appetizers. Becky is bringing an appetizer. So I'm gonna be doing a small grazing board and on there I am going to have cranberry salsa. Just small and light. The main dish is turkey. We are going to smoke that turkey. I can't wait. Vegetables. I know Beth is bringing her yummy Brussels sprouts. I mean, that counts as a side, but I like to see the differences in my sides. And this is why I created the plant planner this way between vegetables and sides. So for sides, of course you have to have mashed potatoes. And that means I need to make the gravy. Beth is bringing the rolls as a side as well. My friend Denise is bringing her strawberry pretzel salad. This is like my raspberry pretzel salad, but made with strawberries. I put strawberry pretzel salad as an appetizer. Where is my brain? I'm gonna just put a line through this. Oh, I hate messing up a pretty planner. Anyway, and then from what I do know for dessert, Beth is bringing a pecan pie and Heather is bringing a pie. And I'm going to be making a cranberry sauce for a side dish. Oh, and I am doing the stuffing. And drinks, of course we're gonna do waters with lemons and you know and things like that. I'm gonna try to go get some sparkling cider. Your Italian side, shall we <laughs> And I'm also gonna be making a dessert. I'm gonna do a pumpkin pie and some turnovers. They could be blueberry and cherry. So here's the menu. I did add saute green beans, just in case. We've got a lot going on here for five couples. So it's simple and there are hands pitching in. What I'm gonna do is come in here. I'm gonna put a star down to the things that I am not making. Visually, it helps me to see. I'm gonna leave this blank because I don't know what Becky's bringing. That is what's going on for Friendsgiving. My grocery list is all filled out. If anything pops up, I will add to it, but the main things that I need are here. I went through all the recipes, shopped my shelves. I will be grabbing deals to stock up my pantry. And this is the best time of year to stock up. I'm starting today off at Costco and work my way up north and get a lot of my holiday food done. All right, it pays to wait. There, Mrs. Cubbinson's stuffing was 9.39 a week ago. Well, a week and a half ago when I was here. Now it's on sale for 6.99. That's gonna make it a dollar 75 a box, and there's four in here. Out of all the stores in my area, this one is the best deal for Mrs. Cubbinson's. Okay, remember last time I shared with you they were like. 420 something I think a bag look at that 399 you guys that is the best I am seeing it right now and the best buy date on this bag is October of 23 so grab them now use them for the holidays have them for your burgers in the summer yum good deal on evaporated milk it's on sale for 9.99 it makes them 83 cents a can and there's 12 in the package for my area, that is amazing for evaporated milk. They have the rice, corn, and wheat checks, which is perfect for like our reindeer chow uh, for the holidays. It's for $7.59, which makes it $2.53 a box, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait if it goes on sale, and I'm gonna wait with all the other stores in their sales. So I'm gonna remember this, but hold off for right now. Okay, for their Martinelli sparkling cider, I love this stuff. Um, the best deal is here at Costco. You can get it for $2.69 a bottle. And the Welch's three pack of red and white grape juice is actually a better deal here at Costco for $3.13 a bottle than my local grocery stores right now. If you watched my last haul, the spinach artichoke dip, the, the Greek yogurt, oh, it's so good. It's still on sale and it goes till the 24th, so Thanksgiving. 
So I'm grabbing it now. And I got the furthest date out, which was December 16th. Okay, the Borsin creamy crumbly cheese is still on sale. This was on my list. This is the best deal in my area for this cheese. So that is coming home with me. The russet potatoes came down in price. They were $11.99 a week and a half ago. And now they're $7.99. I got a great deal of potatoes I'm gonna be sharing with you in a minute, but I'm gonna grab another bag because that price is very good. The 99 cent turkeys ran out and they're gonna be, they're on a truck right now on their way here tonight, but I'm gonna get mine at Kroger. Okay, I am done, my cart is full. So I'm gonna get this in the car. I brought my freezer bag so I can put the cold stuff in. And then I just need to go to Smith's and I'm gonna grab my turkeys there and like my green onions, jalapenos, cilantro, and I'll get all those little things there and I am done. This feels good, but I'm tired and I gotta push this cart all the way over. But I did get some Christmas shopping done. I have a few gifts for Callie and Felix, so score. So while I'm in line at the pharmacy, I'm checking out the ad and their uh, turkey is 79 cents a pound. Limit one with additional $25 purchase. Uh, that I'm a little confused on. Um, I wanna know if like if I could do another transaction or do I need to leave the store, come back in? Like what do I need to do to get my hands on a couple of turkeys? That is the best price I've seen on Crest, I believe, from the store brand. I gotta double check my phone, but already rolled pie crust, that's a good price. Well, they have a really good sale on the American Beauty pasta. If you buy six or more, you can get them for 79 cents. So it is like cleared out. But I did get some fettuccine and some angel hair pasta um, at that deal, because that is phenomenal. Here is haul one of our holiday food, and this is from Winco. The only thing I didn't have pricing on, and I didn't look up on my phone, was the green peppers, because I need them now. The uh, fire roasted, gluten-free Milton's fire roasted vegetable crackers, and the Parmesan cheese, and the bananas. Everything else has been price checked, and Winco won. So this is what I picked up. Red raspberries for our raspberry pretzel salad, frozen strawberries for cheesecake, four packages of the Winco brand cream cheese bars, two graham cracker crusts. I want to try this in the Borson cheese, even though I'm going to be getting them from Costco. This is chimichurri. So I'm going to give this a try and see how this tastes. It was still cheaper than buying it from Smith's, Macy's, or Walmart. So nice. Two packages of four bottles each of the sparkling Martinelli cider. We love the little bottles. Some peppermint whipped topping. Doesn't that sound good? Ooh, yum. And then three packages of blueberries for baking. They're nice and big too. And the price on this, holy cow, was it good. Two boxes of the puff pastry. They beat out every store in my area. I was so excited by that, about it, like by like $2. So I grabbed two of the puff pastry and one of the phyllo dough. Two eight ounces of their whip topping. So this is the generic of Cool Whip. And their fresh cranberries beat out everybody, the 12 ounce bag. How awesome is that? So between the other two I already have in my freezer and these two, I'm not gonna put these in the freezer. I'm gonna keep them in the refrigerator. Yay, so I can make fresh cranberry sauce and cranberry salsa. I did buy the Mrs. Cumberson's cornbread stuffing. 20 pound bag of potatoes. So this was my Winco haul. Oh my goodness, here is Costco. Gluten-free bread. Some more flour tortillas. This is the like eight inch tortilla. Two big packages. 24 each in there. Got Derek the car balance. Sweet potatoes. Um, I did end up getting their evaporated milk with that sale. That ended up now being better than what I saw at Winco. We are stocked for a long time on evaporated milk. And then some sparkling ciders. So this one is grape and this is white grape. And then the sparkling cider, the apple ciders. Some more hot chocolate. We just used the last of it. And when I went to Smith's and saw that half of this, a container that's half the size, they wanted $10. So we scored on that four pounds of hot chocolate. And then the organic lactose-free, reduced fat-free milk. There are three cartons in there. 
It's 2%, did I say fat free? No, it's 2% milk, three half gallons. I did get their potatoes. They are really big potatoes. Smith's had their five pound bag for 97 cents, which is an awesome deal. But these are the big, they're bigger. These are bigger than those. And so between this and the Winko haul, we are good with. A big bag of the classic Lay's and then paper plates. So I did the price comparison at Sam's Club and they're, they're doing a scan and go right now that if you use the scan and go, you could save $2 on them. But I was checking my prices with everything to Sam's Club and there was no reason for me to go. So I wasn't gonna drive there. I basically would've used the gas money. So I just got the plates here at Costco. So I got the Dixie Ultra 135 count bowls. That was a good deal on those. And then the Dixie plates. These are the eight and a half inch plates and there are 240 in there. And then the China dinner plates, 165 plates. They, this is the 10 and 3 eighths inch plate. Honey Nut Cheerios. The regular Cheerios were on sale, but these weren't, but we are all out, like out. We haven't been like completely out of Cheerios in a long time. Some more romaine lettuce, celery sticks, and mushrooms. And then this was a splurge, the creamy cranberry jalapeno. I don't think I've ever tried this. I don't have any memory of it and I don't remember seeing it in any of my past hauls. I know I'm making cranberry salsa and everything, but I wanna try this. This is this intrigued me. And then of course, the spinach artichoke and Parmesan dip and spread, hello. So good. The Italian dry salami, this is the best deal out of the salamis even at the grocery store. We'll have one for Thanksgiving and then the other one for Christmas. Great, great deal on the Borsin, you guys, I mean, Hello. So the garlic and fine herbs, and then the shallot and chive, and then we have that other one from Winko. Um, I loved how small this asparagus is. I love eating it that thin, yummy. And then, this was another, another splurge, the baked brie with fig jam and chopped walnut. Oh my gosh. I am not getting my hands on any turkey wings, so I just got this gravy. Oh, we're not doing it in the oven. We are smoking our turkey. So I have this gravy here, the Kevin's turkey gravy. It's so good and has little bits of turkey in it. I grabbed the red chili pepper spread to put, you know, with our cheeses and um, for all our grazing boards. Yeah, and this was a great, great deal. It has a good shelf life. So we are good through the holidays. We're good through the summer. Yes, on the crispy onions. And then I got their Spanacopia. This was on sale. Uh, Spanacopita. <laughs> I don't know how you say it. Spinach and feta phyllo triangles. They're delicious and that would go really well with the red pepper jelly. You get 48 in there. I gotta hurry up and get this in the um, freezer. It's delicious. I grabbed the Mexican style blend cheese and that was a great deal on the stuffing. So I snagged that. Okay, here is the last haul. This is the Smith's haul and I got my turkey. The turkey we got is 15 pounds, six ounces for 79 cents a pound when you spend $25 or more, which I totally did. I am gonna grab uh, more turkeys before the season's over. We want to roast up another one and freeze dry the meat and then have one in the freezer for during the year. So they had soda on sale, three for 12. Derek really likes the Sprite Zero Sugar Winter Spiced Cranberry. So two boxes of that. And of course my drug of choice, Coca-Cola. Zero, zero caffeine. I cannot do caffeine with my anxiety. I can't even drink half a can, guys. Like, this is how much I don't have soda anymore. I did pick up the mozzarella cheese there instead of Costco, and the pizza cheese and pepperoni because we're gonna do some homemade pizzas. I grabbed a sweet potato pie for Friendsgiving, even though I'm gonna be baking some. Sweet potato pie sounded really good. Tri-colored grapes. Um, to have out on our board and snacking. They had that great sale on the American Beauty pasta, so I picked up three elbow macaronis, two angel hair, and one, two, five fettuccine. Why did I do an odd number? I must have miscounted. I don't do odd numbers, and I did. Look at that. 79 cents a bag. That is really good. Usually, before crap hit the fan, I was able to get these on sale for 49 cents a bag. And then for our waters, we have lemons, limes, and limes for the cranberry salsa, marshmallows for baking, jalapenos for the salsa, green onions, 
cucumbers, cilantro. Grabbed a carton of sour cream. Cheese, oh, look at this. Oh, it's so, so soft. So we grabbed two different types of brie cheese. And I love, love those these little cheese balls. The sharp cheddar cheese. Two cans of the Ready Whip. Some more gluten-free flour. A twin pack of the extra virgin olive oil spray. And there's no silicone in it. And then the deal on the pie crust was so good. I clipped the coupon and everything. So I grabbed five boxes to put in the freezer for quick meals. Like we love our tuna pot pie, things like that. And Shaylee was like, can we please get this eggnog? I said, sure. This is the pumpkin eggnog from Kroger and the original. They also had cinnamon. So we are ready to go. We're good to go now. For the tablescape, last year I did this really beautiful fall theme because you know, Friendsgiving, Thanksgiving, it's in the fall. But I've already taken down all my fall, all my Thanksgiving decorations and it is Christmas in this house. This year for Friendsgiving, I'm going to do more of a full on holiday feel, like Christmas feel um, on the table and I don't need to go buy anything. I'm going to shop my home, shop my decorations to put as a centerpiece on the table. That is key to saving a buck. So my tablescape is good. I know what I am planning. The groceries are bought. We're in a good spot. So that means the next thing I have to do before Sunday is bake. Well, I tried to make my own crust, like pie crust. I'm not good at it. I haven't made it homemade in years. I made it. I even make a gluten-free crust with this yummy apple pie. The recipe is amazing. It's our new apple pie. Go watch it here. I'll meet you over there and you can see how I did these pie crusts. Did they turn out? <laughs> Let's see. I'll see you over there. Bye.